this week on the show, we have Amy Adler, the CEO and founder of Schmutzies Wipes, the world's first luxury footwear wipe to cleanse the inside of your leather footwear. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of letting go of the old story and reclaiming your power back. The reality is the stories we tell ourselves become our dominant set of beliefs. If those beliefs aren't empowering and rather the opposite, coming from a place of lack and fear, then we stay stuck in the same loop of toxic thoughts. Just like a song playing on loop, your thoughts similarly are playing the same old story over and over. So how do we let go of the old story? The fastest way to get unstuck is to let go of feeling like a victim. When we blame external forces like the economy, the government, or point fingers at someone else, we stay stuck because it's only when we can take responsibility that we can reclaim our power back. Remember, you are the creator of your own destiny. The next time you find yourself playing the blame game or feeling like you aren't in control, let go of that story and remind yourself that you have the power to change your perspective and get new results. As Deepak Chopra quotes, every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, ask yourself if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. And Amy, the one thing about luxury shoes like Christian Louboutins is that the leather is very delicate, so it gets damaged very easily. How does schmutzy wipes preserve your shoes and keep them lasting for years to come? Really good question. So I think maintenance with shoes, um, shoes to me are investments, but they're also trophies that I love putting in my closet. I don't know about you, but I buy shoes sometimes that I don't even know what I'm going to wear them with. I just yes. know I can't leave them in the store. Yeah. And I find that, you know, good maintenance with a shoe begins from the first time you wear it. So using a schmutzies on the insole to clean out the sweat, bacteria and dirt that collects, especially like in city walking or being in restaurants, you know, is very very important, but also having a good cobbler that you can depend on to take your shoe in as things start happening to them. So it, it's about the overall maintenance of the shoe. This week on the show, we have Amy Adler, the CEO and founder of Schmutzies Wipes, the world's first luxury footwear wipe to cleanse the inside of your luxury leather footwear. Thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's such a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you for being here. I love your product. Let's get into it. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you created Schmutzy Wipes. <laughs> So I have spent my entire career in, in retail and 10 of those years uh, were working with um, Gucci. And I noticed a, a need for um, the interior and the insoles of shoes. I had clients who had such shoe shame, I like to call it, with the bacteria and the dirt that was lurking you know, inside the insole. And even when we would take the shoes to the cobbler for them to have shoe repairs done on the heels or the toe tap, you know, they still came back with that dirty bacteria and grime on the inside. And this was all the way back in 2005. And I just, I couldn't believe that there was a wipe for everything, but nothing for the inside of the shoe. And that's kind of where the idea started. And like many people, when the pandemic came around, I found myself in a very unique situation and I didn't have a job. And it was time to kind of go to the drawing board. A, a mentor said to me, I know you've got an idea in, in that brain of yours, so let's get to looking for it. And and uh, I pitched the idea to my husband and three years later, here we are. Very nice. I love that you use your retail background with Gucci to, you know, create this. Um, I want to talk about the name Schmutzy Wipes. That obviously stands out. Tell us a little bit about the name. <laughs> so Schmutzies, um, it's really <laughs> came from that we have a lot of retail words that we use. And um, we referred to the dirt and the bacteria inside of the shoes as Schmutz. And so when I came up with this idea for a wipe, I thought, what better word for it than to call it schmutzies? Mm -hmm. And schmutzy wipes are the world's first luxury uh, footwear wipes. So tell us a little bit about the formulation in the product. 
So the formulation, it's it's not so much as the formulation is the combination of three different things. So while I was experimenting from 2005 until about three years ago, one of the things that I noticed in playing with other wipes out in the market is a lot of them had harsh chemicals um, to, to scrub the outside of the shoe. There was nothing that was focused on the inside of the shoe. And leather is very porous, especially on the insole. And you needed something that was going to get in there and clean, but then it still could get next to you know bare skin if you don't wear socks or hosiery with your shoes. So so that was number one. Number two, I wanted something that had some sort of raised micro dot technology, as I like to call it, to be able to scrub the dirt and the grime away. And then lastly, I needed something that could dry down quickly. You know, for me, when I get home, you know, from like the shoot today, before I put my soulmates back in the closet, I'm going to clean them out. A lot of women and men don't do that. They're not going to use them until they're getting ready to use the shoe again. And you need to be able to wipe down the shoe without it being so overly saturated that you can't be able to wear them until they dry down. So that's where we kind of came up with white sparkle walk. So it's the combination of the three things that make our formula unique. Mm -hmm. And I actually have the product right here. I love the packaging. Tell us what comes in the box of Schmutzi's Wipes. So in the, the two boxes that are on top, those are actually 15 individually wrapped wipes. And those are what I like to refer to as schmutzies on the go. They're ideal for just popping in your handbag, for taking out for the evening in case you have a shoe emergency. And they're great for the outside too. So if you, somebody spills a little cocktail or some food on your shoe, you can pull out one of your schmutzies wipes and you can use them at that time. And Amy, the one thing about luxury shoes like Christian Louboutins is that the leather is very delicate, so it gets damaged very easily. How does Schmutzy Wipes preserve your shoes and keep them lasting for years to come? Really good question. So I think maintenance with shoes, um, shoes to me are investments, but they're also trophies that I love putting in my closet. I don't know about you, but I buy shoes sometimes that I don't even know what I'm going to wear them with. I just yes. know I can't leave them in the store. Yeah. And I find that, you know, good maintenance with a shoe begins from the first time you wear it. So using a schmutzies on the insole to clean out the sweat, bacteria and dirt that collects, especially like in city walking or being in restaurants, you know, is very important but also having a good cobbler that you can depend on to take your shoe in as things start happening to them so it, it's about the overall maintenance of the shoe so i do have a luxury bag right here so how can the schmutzy wipes help preserve the leather on bags so what a great question and what great taste you have i love the bag i have that bag myself and um i Schmutzies is not necessarily about preserving leather. It's about caring for the leather when you get dirt and debris, makeup, lip liner, you know, the everyday things that happen to our bags. So you want to keep it in the dust cloth, but in between wearing it, feel free to use your schmutzies on the handbags as well. Very nice. And what I love about this product is it doesn't just clean the shoe, it also deodorizes it, which I think is very important. So tell us about that aspect. So scents are very funny to, to people. In fact, I, I don't know about you, but when I go through a department store and the, the perfume spritzer is chasing you down to try a fragrance, I, I, I don't want any because fragrances are so unique to different personalities. So I wanted something that was just very light and um, didn't take any smell away from the leather, um, but also just left a very clean, fresh smell. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys also have a gift box. Um, so tell us about that. So not only do we have a, a gift box in the gift box that actually it's, it's a really unique story. It started out as our influencer box. We just launched this product in July of 2023, believe it or not. And um, when we launched it, we wanted to get this product in hands. And we sent this out to a lot of influencers like yourself. And uh, what it contains inside is two boxes of the 15 count individually wrapped wipes. There's a get the schmutz out um, t-shirt and hat. And I know you have a 20 count flow pack. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that's what I keep in my closet to use every single day whenever I take off my shoes. It's very convenient and it's in a resellable pouch to keep the, um, the moisture in the wipes just perfect. Mm -hmm, very nice. And with any entrepreneurial journey, you know, it comes with its sheer challenges. What are some challenges you face when kind of bringing your, your product to the market? 
So, uh, you know, I guess the one thing that I would say is if I listen to the first three people that um, I talked to about this idea, because in the beginning, I didn't know if I had an idea or a, a product with a with a company to launch. I really didn't know. And um, if you li- if I listened to the first three people that I pitched this idea to, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you right now. So I think it starts with believing in yourself, knowing that you've identified um, an, an area in the market that is is a, needs a call to action. And if you believe in yourself, and you've got people around you that believe in you, you can do anything you want. Mm -hmm. And I can tell this is a passion project for you. This is something that you actually use. So tell us about that and how, how you kind of created this. So, you know, for me, finding the perfect recipe to be able to keep my shoes looking and feeling beautiful, uh, you know, was a passion project. And, you know, working on this, we, we started out, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this, ha- this happened during the pandemic. I found myself without a job and I, I, I needed to figure out what I was going to do. And, you know, the first thing I did was try to, um, you know, I looked to see if the domains were available for my name. Schmutzies was available. Then we started working on a trademark that took almost three years. And once we knew we had the trademark, then it was going into production. And, you know, from there, you know, here here we are. But for me, it's my closet is, you know, my trophy case and being able to bring someone in there and then being able to see that all of my shoes and bags are immaculate. You know, it all starts with um, with my schmutzies wipes. Very nice. And for anyone out there that has an idea and, you know, maybe they're afraid to take that leap and, you know, bring it to the public. What would you say to inspire them? I would say, again, believe in yourself. Um, surround yourself with people who will give you good advice and not just tell you what you need to hear and be open to um, other people's ideas and uh, it, you'll get there. Very nice. And for anyone out there that wants to purchase Schmutzi's Wipes, where can they do so internationally? So we, you can go to our website. It's um, schmutzies.com. You can also find us on Instagram as Schmutzies Wipe and on Facebook as Schmutzies. And we're set up to ship to Canada. We can't ship um, internationally all over the world yet, but we're working on that. Very nice. We're going to link all of that information below so our viewers can purchase them. Amy, thank you so much for being on the show today and congratulations on creating such a great product. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to be here. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.